with mothethmother.com for March 1st, 2018. By the way, I am recording this video here with the market showing a drop for the day. About, let's call it 2%, 1% down. All right. And really no surprise. And the reason I say no surprise is because yesterday we saw a 1% drop on the Dow as it moved below RSI 50. We saw the S&P 500 drop below 50 for the day yesterday, down for 1% drop, which was yesterday. So today is just a continuation. And today, this very day, the Nasdaq is now having its opportunity to drop below 50. In other words, it closed above 50 yesterday. So the Nasdaq is following the other market. It's dropping below 50. So of course, when you drop below 50, you know this by now. Expect to see a change in the, in the medium gain or loss. And the only way you can change the average gain or loss is by dropping below 50 and closing towards the lows of the day as is normally the case not always but normally it so happens to be also coincidentally or not dropping below the 50-day moving average which is coincidental with also the occasion of dropping below rsi 50. now i've explained this in another video maybe i'll, I'll link to it where i discuss the reasoning for that now back to the semiconductor index what I wanted to discuss here is as of right now this is a Thursday it could always change we always have to respect the markets ability and freedom to change its mind but right now we are looking at what looks like a failed weekly breakout attempt for the semiconductor index more importantly is if the RSI is stalling around here, then that stalling action is taking place around the 61.8 level, as you can see, which means that you have two things taking place, both of them bearish. Failure to break out, so number one, is a failed breakout not good failed failed breakout and then number two you have negative divergence of the worst kind according to my own research which is when you try and break out the RSI fails to move above 61.8 that tends to be the worst type of negative divergence so we might be looking and more and more it's appearing like that of course time will tell but if we take a look at the daily we see confirmation of that number one we had a breakout attempt that clearly failed we traded above the previous daily closing high here not good and you might notice that that came with the RSI failing now this time it's on the daily RSI failed to move above the 61.8 level which makes this the worst type of negative divergence now add to the fact that we haven't seen the semiconductor index drop below 50 even though we've seen the NASDAQ NAS so the NASDAQ has dropped below 50 SPX dropped below 50 yesterday and of course the Dow also dropped below 50 yesterday so if all these markets are dropping below 50 it only makes sense that the semiconductor index also is gonna have to drop 50 if it wants to be in sync with the large indices what is the conclusion of this negative divergence and failure to break out on both the weekly and the monthly charts well i think 
there is a possibility we might be somewhere here, similar to what we were in 2000. The reason why I say that is, yes, we are trading above 69.1, which is a sign of strength. But internally, we've seen the weekly commit some faults, daily confirm those faults or red flags. All right. We see a double top here on the RSI and on the MACD, we are also seeing this double top. I guess what I'm trying to say is that based on what we are looking at here, it only makes sense that we might be staring at a significant moment in time where we are potentially, potentially setting up for a major drop in the coming months. Now, what would negate this? What is needed here for bulls to do if this is going to turn into a stable to bullish market then the bulls are going to first and foremost have to, have to, have to confirm strength by breaking out. That's, there's no other way. That's just how it's going to have to be. Which means we are looking right now, based on what we've seen, I could conclude here very simply that this tells me we need to be looking at this as a sideways at best to down market sideways at be bearish at worst because of the failed breakouts and because of the worst type of negative divergence this is eric mother mother.com as always good luck peace and peace and blessings Mwah. Woo. yeah I'll see you guys in the next edition. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha!